So I went to college at Iowa State, was there for four years. Um, then my first professional team was uh, Obradorio in Santiago uh, in Spain and played there for a year and then stayed in Spain and went to Valencia uh, for my second year. Then from Valencia I went to the NBA, I signed with the Toronto Raptors, was there for a year and a half and was traded during my second year to Utah. So I was with the Jazz for the end of that second year in the NBA for four or five months. It was quick and then my third year in the NBA was with the Bulls um, and last year was really weird for me and I was waiting out NBA free agency for a while, probably four or five months all the way until January and then you know it got to a point where it made sense to consider coming back to Europe and playing and uh, ended up signing a deal with Panathinaikos so I finished the season there last year but ended up only playing 10 games because of the foreign rules. And what are the main differences between the both leagues? Euroleague is a little bit different in terms of like a lot depending on the coach but in general I think it's a lot more tactical there's a lot more strategy involved I think in Europe obviously there's rules for example the defense of three seconds in the lane that's not a thing in Europe it makes it a lot harder I think for guys to penetrate as easily in the NBA there's a lot more space the three-point line is is wider as well um, which makes a difference um, and then obviously like there's there's off the court things that aren't necessarily the same it's just I mean in Europe Euroleague we don't have the same resources in terms of the NBA in terms of just money, you know, like it's just different, you know, traveling, um, accommodation, stuff like that. But in terms of the game, I've obviously both are um, extremely high level. I think uh, EuroLeague 2 just being like a round robin, like 34 games, like every game is so, so important. Um, where in the NBA, you know, there's so many more games, there's back to backs where sometimes teams just go, oh, well, next game, whatever, like you move on or there's teams tanking to try to get a higher draft pick or teams rebuilding that really aren't even trying to compete. Where in EuroLeague, it doesn't matter where you are in the standings, you're, you're trying to win every single game and every game is extremely important and crucial and for the standings at the end of the year. So I'm, in that sense, I like, as a competitor, the, the, the EuroLeague style. Playing in Euro Cup, it was the first time I had played in a Euro European competition because um, my first year we only played ACB. So uh, it was my first kind of taste of Europe and traveling to other countries and playing different countries. And obviously, it's not the same level as Euro League, but Euro Cup is. It was a really high level that year. Um, I believe. I mean, obviously, Alba. I think Asvel, um, Red Star, Partizan. Uh, maybe Zenit. There was a bunch of really good teams playing Euro Cup that year. You know, the Mercedes-Benz Arena is amazing and I remember the fans were, were really good, really good, really passionate fans. And um, now, obviously, being here, I'm excited to, to play in front of the Alba fans. Please explain your nickname, Mr. 99 Percenters. Yeah. Um, that one I didn't get, I never got this nickname till after my year in Valencia. It's hard to explain, to be honest, but basically, my effective field goal percentage that year was 99%. So on, on wide open attempts, I was nine, it was 99% effective field goal percentage, but I think it basically meant I made 66% of my th open threes. Obviously, I know that like my, my biggest attribute on the basketball court is my, my ability to make shots, and I'm never gonna like not try to do that that's that's why I'm, I'm I've been able to play at a high high level but at the same time there is other things that I can do with the ball in my hands um, creating being able to pass um, not just standing in the corner so to speak right like a lot of teams uh, in the Reese in the NBA and then last year I was more used as like a floor spacer and I think there's a difference between like a floor spacer like or a guy that is used as a weapon off the ball moving off the ball and I think that's when I'm at my best um, and then I can just play we read and react and that's why I've been saying I've, I'm excited to play for Coach Gonzalez and his system because I think it's, it suits my game perfectly. Uh, first days have been good. Uh, I think everyone welcomed me when I got here. Uh, so it, it makes it easy. You know, I've played on a lot of different teams. It's always a hard adjustment when you're moving to a new city, all the transition things off the court, adapting to a new country. It's been so much new information and when you settle in, there's not so much time to get out in the city quite yet, but I am excited. Obviously, 
Uh, everything I've heard about Berlin um, and the culture and the history here and the city as a whole and the people here is very positive and I'm just excited to immerse myself uh, in that culture. Aside from basketball, i um, just kind of a simple guy, man. I, I love the game, so like, I think my whole life is kind of revolves around basketball, but at the same time, you know, family, friends, you know, my relationship, uh, and then off the court, I, I like to watch movies, uh, go to dinner, and like I said, just where whatever city I'm in, try to embrace and immerse myself in the culture, whether that's going to a museum or a monument or anything like this, um, being outside as much as I can, um, and just trying to live life to the fullest. I mean, my goals here, I try to every year just um, take things day by day. Um, I don't try to set like expectations for myself or the team. I just organically throughout the year, I think you achieve your goals if you take care of what you need to do every single day, right? You, you come in here, you be a professional, you get here early, you get in your work, you practice well as a team and you build good habits. And then those habits carry over to, to games where then you're able to have success. You know, for me personally, it's a big opportunity to um, ha have a bigger role on a team in EuroLeague and kind of establish myself in EuroLeague because like we talked about I, in Valencia, I played Euro Cup and then I went to the NBA. So this is really my first normal season and, and real season to play in EuroLeague. So I'm excited for myself and I think it's a good opportunity, great team. Um, the playing style and the coaching style fits my game. Um, and then with that, obviously our, our team goals is just to compete and try to win as many games as possible um, in both BBL and EuroLeague. And obviously, you know, the goal for any team is, is to win a, win a trophy. So, you know, that's our goal as well.